Thanks for joining us. Scott Sager here with you with RTC TV4's Legal Minute, sponsored by Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP here in Rochester. Today we have managing partner Ted Wagoner here with us. Welcome. Thank you, Scott. Glad Ted, to be here. Ted, what are we going to talk about today, legal wise? Well, today I thought we'd talk a little bit about starting a business. Oh, excellent topic. Good. Um, as you know, businesses can be as simple as popping up a lemonade stand on the corner to the comp complexities of international corporations. And we've all seen uh, businesses from all sizes. Yes. In our experience here in uh, Rochester and Fulton County, we've uh, created hundreds of businesses for our clients. Okay. And in creating businesses, you know, we've got some experience and so we know how to help people decide what needs to be in the business, what doesn't need to be in the business. Gotcha. What kind of business entity do you want? Do you want a, a proprietorship where you and uh, maybe friends or family are the owners? Uh -huh. Or do you want something a little more formal so that you can make transfers of the ownership uh, and provide protection? So. That's what we're looking at. Scott. Interesting. So um, there, there are again a number of forms of business um, or companies, or right? Formulations mm -hmm. of companies, uh, partnerships, LLPs, LLCs, S corps, etc. C corps. C corps. Mm -hmm. Right. As if I'm an entrepreneur watching this right now, and I'm thinking I'm going to start my business soon. Mm -hmm. Are those decisions made prior to even starting up the business and saying I'm going to give this a go? Those are decisions that need to be made at the earliest stages. Okay. Now, if you're operating out of your garage for a few years, operating a body shop or an engine repair operation, mm -hmm. you may be able to do it for a, for a few months or a few years. But once you start to look at hiring an employee mm -hmm. or entering into some contracts, people are going to want to know that you're substantially in business. Yeah. And that's when you want to set it up and set it up correctly. Interesting. Very good. So when folks are thinking about starting their own business in, in any case, a lot of them would go to um, maybe a Fedco to start out to find out some information. Right. But mm -hmm. the legal entity of it, the you and your uh, firm here can really provide some great startup information for them uh, based on your experience of starting hundreds of businesses here in Fulton County or helping to start exactly. these businesses here in Fulton County. Obviously, it's the business person who's starting the business, right. but we are facilitating, we're making sure they understand what they're doing. Occasionally, and more, more often than occasionally, I'll have somebody come in and say, here's a book of stuff I was given, but I don't know what it means. Uh -huh. Do I have partners? Do I have other owners? Am I the president? Uh, or the Secretary of State sent me a notice saying I'm late on filing something. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean? Yeah. And that's what we make sure that all of our clients understand as they go through the process. Those very good points there, Ted, for sure. So Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins, if I have interest in a business or if I've received one of these letters about my business from the Secretary of State or Department of Treasury or one mm -hmm. of these, is that something that I can simply call in and try and get an appointment and you guys can, can help me sort it out and help me understand what I've got before me? Yes, all of the lawyers here are familiar with it. Okay. Uh, we can work with you. We can describe and discuss your situation either for a consultation fee or it may grow even bigger than that in helping you to solve the problem. Okay. When you do that, just give us a call. Uh, either speak, ask to speak with me or with Andy or with Rachel. Uh -huh. And... Um, uh, if you don't know who you want to talk to, our uh, capable staff will guide you to the right lawyer. Yeah. Now, do you see, um, you, you, once you help someone to start their business, I'm sure that they retain attorneys to uh, help them run their business in some cases. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you're seeing a lot of new businesses and entrepreneurs coming in these days, let's say over the past five years? Uh, over the past five years, we've seen a nice uh, group of businesses open up. Yeah. Uh, of course, in the 2008, 9, yeah. 10 period, it was a little slow, although uh, statistics show that that's always the best time yeah. to open a business is when people are a little bit afraid because you're able to step in and, and meet a need that uh, other uh, potential entrepreneurs are just a little hesitant to get into. Right, so. Right. But yes, we've, uh, we see a lot of this happening. Uh, we're glad to work with anybody when it's time to 
uh, address it, or even if you're just thinking about something I'm going to do in the next two or three years, uh, you'll, you'll have a better understanding when you're starting to plan your business plan, if you're going to sit down with your banker or with your accountant. Well, and, and yes, it always makes more sense to put uh, the ducks in a row before you get going here. Exactly. Um, Ted was he with us over at uh, mm -hmm. Fedco when I went through their next level course on uh, business entrepreneurs. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you gave some very sage advice in the early days. One of those things was to uh, make sure that you focus on what your business is and not get lost in the extraneous that comes with it. In other words, don't uh, try to diminish your focus to a point where you want to try and be all things to all people. Stay focused on your business. It's hard to start out and be Walmart. Yes. You have to grow into that. <laughs> yes, you, you do. Know, you may want to start out and be a, uh, a one item or a two item shop yeah. before you grow beyond that. Yeah. That's a good point, Scott. Well, excellent, excellent. Well, mm -hmm. all the lawyers here at uh, Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP in Rochester, uh, they are happy to help you. And uh, as we talked in one of the earlier segments, they've got a wonderful support staff, mm -hmm. and uh, those ladies will take great care of you as well. So if you have any questions whatsoever regarding any facet of law, whether it be opening a business or helping with your business needs or uh, estate planning or family law, whatever the case, please give them a call here. You've got the website and your phone number on the screen. Ted, a pleasure. I'm sure we'll see you again on another one of our legal minutes here on RTC TV 4. Thank you, Scott. I uh, just want to remind people that we've designed this law firm to be here for your present and your future legal needs. Excellent. So they've been here for a while and they'll be here for a while to come. Over 50 years. Mm -hmm. Over 50 years. My goodness. Well, thank you again for your time today. All right. Thank you, Scott.